the intention would be that everybody finds his own natural self beyond conditioning or fear for life or for themselves or for others so that everybody comes back to himself and creates from that his sole purpose his what he has to do in life and enjoy that road my name is Tom van Huisthee and I'm a breath healer for 15 years now and I started my healing journey here on the island my journey began in 1998 when I had uh, after the the house spirit where there was a kind of positive ecstasy people dancing together was a kind of calm down it became more uh, more commercial and got back to a more harder feeling I started to meditate and 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 do uh, healing Tao work a bit like yoga things and and then after five years I had another uh, kind of push and then I exploded a bit and yeah I had those I had a few of those things in me my birth my parents a certain events like a car accident with my mother came out and like a, a package of stuff and yeah I had to clean it and there was no way back now I did healing Tao at that time that's kind of a transformer sexual energy like doing kind of uh, practices to to let the sexual energy go through you and get detached from uh, like cluttering and, and addictions with women and uh, emotional stuff and that you learn to to make peace with your sexual energy instead of that you're always hunting on the dance floor <sighs> you know there's a kind of very destructive uh, it's a lower vibration of dealing with sexual energy which is on the planet very uh, strong at the moment still with porno and people go to this app and then have sex with this person and the, the sacredness of sex is out of it and the lower vibration are mostly pain as an addiction of sex and a relationship ended and then I didn't sleep for one and a half months or something and I was like I'm gonna die I'm going crazy uh, there was a lot of dreams and I, I didn't sleep couldn't go to the toilet, was uh, completely blocked. Only breath work was pulling me through. <sighs> I think to deal with the triggers and the fears that come in the moment or the feelings or the emotions or the mental stuff to, to, to consciously take time to, to feel them, to love them, to acknowledge them, to to accept them and do work for it to to release them intention or uh, in to make peace with them yeah I think that's the way uh, how um, would you define a holistic approach to to healing well holistic is just the word whole eh, I think so for me it's um, mm, food it's uh, how you treat your body how we treat each other, how we treat nature, uh, this approach and which tools you use, uh, we can call holistic. And besides breath work, what other healing tools do you use? Uh, sharings, sharings of emotions, sharings of thought, uh, f sharings of fears, dancing, uh, we sometimes do hikes, uh, sometimes we take some psychedelics with the hikes, being in nature, you know. Um, yeah, and creating together, being in contact with each other, even though it's not easy. Living in a community is very healing, because you can't hide. <laughs> you can't run away or sit on your room, yeah, and then people start to knock the door at day two. Well, yeah, come on, what's going on, you know? So the, the community in itself is kind of healing. Dealing with confrontation is, is healing in yeah, a sense. Yeah, exactly, because from childhood you have certain ways to to avoid your pain or the, the stress or the chaos in, in your household or with the birth. So you have found ways to, to hide. And here you can't, because we see it. 
you know, we see it from each other or how he's acting a bit. We leave it, but at some point, this, this, the circles come and then it has to be worked out or not. And then people leave because they're not ready yet to face it or, but their support is there to go through it. Yeah. What do you believe that plants can teach us? Mm, to look different at the reality, at nature, at your thinking patterns, to, to feel the energy go through your body, where the blocks are, to be amazed about life, you know, uh, to, to feel how your mind can have tension and then you, if you go relax with the mushrooms, make it more fluid. If there's tension in the group or one or two people have tension or one person has tension and you bring it in the group and it's shared, it clears the air. So people are not alone walking around with it. Uh, they can speak out their uh, deeper fears or deeper emotions. And because it's held in the group, it gives a space of uh, protection and safety and uh, and maybe we can then as a group do healing things like breath work or sharing or uh, other things massages or uh, intentions to to deal with where he's de the person is dealing with if the vibrations come up, the, the darker feelings or uh, alone feeling or uh, feeling separate, then to be immediately with it and share it is liberating. Of course, then you're not alone. And what we do in society is uh, we don't want to feel it. And then we go home and then we start to hide and we take all kinds of uh, so-called medicines like uh, antidepressants or to suppress the emotions and then we become solitary and then it goes spirals downwards while here we bring it in the open and every feeling is allowed but it's important to take responsibility own the feeling and don't project it on others so uh, we, we try not to project things on others and even are triggered we 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 try to share it with each other that we come to a, a mutual conclusion how we're going to deal with it but the basic is i take responsibility for my own triggers every feeling or as uh, what comes up is is is, is a teacher because we're afraid to show it to others in that way we become solitary or and that blocks the community or the, the, the flow of the community how do you think that science and spirituality can be bridged to better understand this reality if there comes peace in in body and mind every person will find his own truth why he's on the planet and will connect it with his sole purpose if you're a scientist or a breath healer or a electrician and will start to do what he has to do to create more higher energy, more love. So I think going in, if you are a scientist or no scientist or whatever, if we come in the moment together and we start to release fear and pain and we, we start to breathe and we start to relax, then our internal uh, guides will say, do this or do that. And then we will bridge those things. Mm -hmm. How do you use rituals in your in your day-to-day -day life besides uh, the breath work and retreats and ceremonies you do? Yeah, people come here and uh, they do prayers. So we do circles of praying of uh, and then we sing or we have a fire. What do you pray for? People put intentions here for relationships. Uh, uh, for uh, abundance, for health, what they want to change in their lives. Together in a group, just sitting in silence, you know, with the birds and the fresh air and uh, as, a, as a circle creates already a unity feeling where people feel connected to each other. So for us, this is a ritual. What do you gain from rituals yourself well rituals create 
a, a form of deepening that you're connected to each other and life. It deepens your awareness. Yeah. And, and especially because it's in nature and there's no dogma how it should be, you know? Only, okay, we don't scream and shout during a ritual or... or eh? um, there's just a space of being. And because we do work with fire or water or stone or uh, sharing, it creates a circle of uh, unity. Unity with where people have the same intention to deepen their uh, spiritual connection to each other and the nature. Going back to psychedelics, or what have you learned I from think, psychedelics? Uh, the, the, the most is that everything is energy and we're all the same energy and uh, that we come from the same source who creates us and yeah and to connection to the natural world also the stones the colors the, the forest the sea uh, so precious you know to connect really with aliveness instead of less alive less like a city or uh, yeah. which is alive in, in a different sense it's as well it's a different sense yeah can also be nice to walk through the city <laughs> But if the city energetically become less natural because people are a lot in their heads and in surviving mode and thinking very square and money and become machines with not enough sleep and worrying about their everything and then the corona and this and there's fear, you can see that the city becomes, if I'm in Amsterdam, it feels less alive in energy. And when I come here, it's like wow, space, fresh air, uh, people are connected, we dance, we're not afraid of Corona, uh, you know, it it's flows, it's life force, and in, in, in Amsterdam you feel, yeah, it's less alive. This is already choosing life, choosing to feel, choosing to take your own space. The intention would be that everybody finds his own natural self beyond conditioning or fear for life or for themselves or for others so that everybody comes back to himself and creates from that his sole purpose his what he has to do in life and enjoy that road it's such a high energy to live in this mountain you know where there's no uh, there's no wi-fi here uh, the, the air is clean, the light is very, frequency light is very high. The breath on itself is so strong, the oxygen and, and to live here in this space with the silence and the, the people and the nature and the cats and, and no distractions and is very psychedelic. Psychedelics are an important uh, thing in my life, but I can live without it. But breath you can't live without. <sighs> then you come home.